Hello and welcome to Claudia Granger's Divine Light Healing Circle. I'm your guest guide, Alex. Today we're going to be meeting your family doctor. And by that I mean an ancestor in deepest antiquity who kept their family alive by their knowledge of medicine and who shares and is a progenitor of your DNA. They have some gifts for us. But as we are in the here and now and need to reach the there and then, we're going to, to proceed through a technique to, to find them and meet them. So lean back, lie back, and take two deep cleansing breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. All of the worries and stresses that may have surrounded you today, we're setting them aside. They will remain here when we go on our journey. Just as when you leave your home for a journey, your home stays there while you proceed. It's still there when you return. We're going to begin by accepting the divine guidance, cleansing and protection of the starlight, sparkly, silvery light above us, raining down upon us through our head, shoulders, arms, torso, legs, feet. White light above, white light below, white light imbue us with a healing, calming glow. Now we're going to begin to relax. Bring your awareness to your toes. Any tension you find there, gently ask it to go. Now bring your awareness to your feet. Any tension, soreness that you find there, gently ask it to go. Now we move our awareness to our calves and knees. Any pain, tension, stiffness, we release. Now we bring our attention to our thighs. The thighs are quite a large muscle and having that properly relaxed is a prerequisite to falling asleep deeply and completely. Any tension you find in your thighs, release it, let it go. Now we move to the lower half of our torso. Any tension you find there, simply release it. Now we move to the upper part of our torso, all the way to our shoulders. Any tension you find there, gently release it, let it go. Now we move our awareness down from our shoulders to the tips of our fingers and back up, passing our elbows back to our shoulders, our awareness now entirely in our arms. Any tension you find there, any pain or stiffness, gently let it go. Now we remove any tension 
in the way to our neck and we move our attention to our neck. Any tension you find there at the back or front of your neck, and let it go. Now we move our awareness to our head. Any tension, distress, electrical current that is a bit too excited, still it. Release it, let it go. Now your awareness is back in its seat in the head. Now we're going to go on a journey. We're going to begin walking. Walking down into our subconscious minds. We walk down a flight of stairs. Down one step, down another step, down a third step, down a fourth step, down a fifth step, down a sixth step to the landing. The landing opens onto a meadow. It's a beautiful meadow. And what we see in the distance is the face of a clock. The face of a clock larger than we, at least as tall as you, a bit taller. And we approach this clock. As we approach it, the clock begins to shimmer energetically. It looks like the way that image is distorted as one watches over a flame. It's time to step through the clock. We are moving in time back to the beginning of our own ancestors, of our own family doctors. Step through the clock. Look at your surroundings. Where do you find yourself? When is it? You see a dwelling, approach the dwelling, approach the dwelling. There's a fire inside. You've come through the door. They're expecting you. A woman is cooking. A man is wounded. Another man is preparing herbs. Grandmother, grandfather, you fought and lived, fought and died, wishing me well in this day. I am here to honor you, to thank you, and to ask you to imbue me with that knowledge you had, which saved all of us for the hundreds of generations, one to the next, but which consciously I do not know. I ask you to imbue me with your wisdom at an instinctual level through the Akashic records and or through your own connection to my DNA Guide me to what is best for me, best for my body, best for my healing. Share instinctual knowledge with me that has worked so well, so successfully. The lady of the house begins to show you techniques. She tends to the wounded man. 
you see the technique, you will remember it. The man who is the man doctor of your family prepares herbs. He begins to show you each one. And in your mind, you know their purpose and their power. The woman and man are your ancestor doctors, your family doctors, and there have been many. Many times people lived in areas where they had to provide any and all of their needs. And we know that they succeeded because you are the living proof. It's a wonderful place to be. You feel at home, although of course you've never been here. We're very far back in time. You may be shown to a healing. They wish to give you something. It may be a sauna, steam. Yes. You're energetically purified by this steam, by this sauna. And it has lessons about physical well-being in it as well. It's been used in all cultures for cleansing and healing purposes. It's still preserved in some to this day. feel any residual tension, doubts, or fears, worries, leaving your body, leaving even this ethereal body, much dis-ease begins in an invisible energetic realm before it can physically manifest. At least this is the belief of the Ayurvedic doctors. This sauna of your ancestors cleanses your aura and your entire energetic and ethereal fields now. Now we step out of the sauna and we accept a golden net shield of protection that falls from the heavens from the same origin as the silver sparkling light and it coats us and covers us to preserve our attunement to preserve our healing it's time to thank and say goodbye for now to our family doctors and they've succeeded with the wounded man. We leave with their blessing and their promise to speak to us in our hearts and in our intuition to help us to heal ourselves and to heal others. We continue our walk back to the clock, back to the clock portal. And at the portal is a box suspended in the air, right at arm's length, right before us. Open the box. Inside is a key, a key designed in the fashion of your ancestry. This is the DNA key to unlock 
just the right medicines, treatments, and methods for you. Take it while you are still in your ethereal, instinctual form. It becomes part of your knowledge, part of your instinctual knowledge. Take it from the box. Now the clock appears as a clock again. Then the clock fades again into energetic waves. And it's time to step back through the clock, back into our time. Step through now. We continue our walk through this meadow. And we are lifted, lifted up to a plane from which we can see everyone in need of our knowledge for their healing. And from that vantage point, we ask them to come. They are able ethereally to come and be in the meadow in a grand circle. There are animals, beloved pets, people struggling with illness, worry. They are here with us and a bright light shines above this circle where we all clasp hands. We're going to be sharing the attunement that we've received as an energetic wave through all of the people in need of us. You, you envision them, you can see them to your right and to your left and all the way across from you. Divine white light from above blesses this circle and imbues it. And we share our attunement through it. Healing is occurring at a cellular, molecular, and energetic level. These things are connected. When you view the atom under a microscope, it changes its form dependent upon whether or not someone is looking in the microscope. The cellular, molecular level is quite sensitive to energetics. And this is pure positive light and energy. Now it is time to begin our journey back to our room, back to our home. We bid farewell to everyone whom we've worked to heal. When we begin to return to our space, as we as we walk, we see another dwelling, also of our ancestry. It may be one you know from this life, or one you've only heard about, but it's a family home. This home is in your subconscious mind. Go inside. Inside you will see members of your family. It's a wonderful reunion. There are some members of the family who have created an unconscious contract with you to feel all of the emotion for them. This contract you entered into out of compassion, but you do not have to hold. 
in fact, it will be better for them to, to learn their own emotional strength and navigation. So at this time, you can face this family member now and say, no, I am not overly emotional nor silly. I have just been having to feel emotion, not just for me, but for others as well. You are one, and I now give you back the responsibility for feeling your emotions. Also, any and all forgiveness for those in this abode. As you bequeath this, a door where they've been locked away to keep from harming you further will open. But as it opens, you are also freed. They may be startled at your no longer having a wall or protection or a confinement for them. And this can help them along their way. Everyone is more in possession of, of their own energetics now. And your healing and your key can be shared with them as well, without a word, with your good and best intentions, and with their permission energetically. You can ask and you can know. Now we leave this, this more modern house of our family and we return to the place where we began. Come back, come back into your top of your head, your shoulders, your arms and torso, your legs, your feet. Come back to the room where we began. Here we are. Thank you so much.